Physics is a subject that studies the entire universe, but the language of physics is mathematics. अगर आपने कभी फिजिक्स पढ़ा होगा तो यू मस्ट सीन लॉट्स ऑफ मैथमेटिकल इक्वेशंस। दिस इज बिकॉज अ मैथमेटिकल इक्वेशन हेल्प्स अस अंडरस्टैंड हाउ सर्टेन फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज आर रिलेटेड एंड इट आल्सो हाइड्स विद इन इट सम काइंड ऑफ अ प्रिंसिपल अकॉर्डिंग टू विच द यूनिवर्स फंक्शन तो आज के वीडियो में आई हैव ट्राइड टू अरेन्ज द टॉप टेन मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट इक्वेशन इन फिजिक्स दैट हेल्प अस अंडरस्टैंड द वर्ल्ड अ लिटिल बिट बेटर अब मुझे पता है कि कोई इक्वेशन ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है या कम इंपॉर्टेंट है दैट माइट बी वेरी सब्जेक्टिव देर फोर आई हैव ट्राइड टू अरेन्ज टेन इक्वेशन विच आर द मोस्ट रेलिवेंट एंड मोस्ट फंडामेंटल इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट बट आई हैव अरेन्ज दम इन अ chronological manner starting with uh, the one that was discovered the earliest up to the one that is discovered recently so in this list of the top 10 most important equations in physics at number 10 we have the newton second law of motion the newton second law of motion was given by sir isaac newton and it essentially has to do with motion how forces can lead to motion कोई भी ऑब्जेक्ट मूव करती है तो इट मूव्स बिकॉज ऑफ द रिजल्ट ऑफ फोर्सेस दैट कैन लीड टू एसेलरेशन एंड दैट इज व्हाट दिस इक्वेशन इन कैप्सुलेट्स वेदर वे लुकिंग एट स्पॉट्स वे पीपल आर प्लेइंग अराउंड विथ अ बॉल और वे लुकिंग एट द मोशन ऑफ व्हीकल्स कार्स बसेस एरोप्लेन्स everything requires an understanding of forces and how they can cause motion even the constructions of large buildings bridges requires an understanding of the balancing of forces so any kind of mechanical motion whether it is throwing a ball or operating heavy machinery or flying a rocket requires an understanding of forces which is governed by the newton's second law now since we are talking about newton let's go to the next equation in this list of the top 10 most important equations in physics at number 9 we have the newton's law of gravitation this law was also given by sir isaac newton and it essentially explains how bodies attract one another due to gravitational forces now this force is very minute in our day to day life but at intergalactic scales and when masses of planets are involved this force becomes very powerful now this law of gravitation is not a complete description of gravity because now in modern physics it has been replaced by the general theory of relativity however the success of the newton's law of gravitation is that it is applicable to a large number of different circumstances whether we are talking about planetary motion why planets go around the sun in elliptical orbits we look at the motion of the moon around the earth or motion of satellites around the earth projectile motion tidal motion all kinds of astronomical phenomena are explained very easily by the newton's law of gravitation so in a sense this law is very much responsible for the behavior of the universe at large scales now next in our list the eighth most important equation in physics is the wave equation now when i say waves what do i mean we have sound waves because of which you can hear my voice we have light waves because of which you can see my face we have waves on the surface of a pond we have waves on the strings of a guitar so it doesn't matter which wave we are talking about whenever we have these wave like vibrations the wave equation essentially gives us a description of how the vibration and its amplitude is going to change with distance and time now because waves are involved in so many different disciplines of physics the wave equation becomes very important So when we talk of sound waves there are applications in sonar in ultrasound in the acoustic treatment of theaters or movie halls in the construction of musical instruments mics speakers etc etc the list goes on and on when we talk of light waves we can talk about bulbs and tube lights which can help us see in dark spaces and these light waves are essentially electromagnetic waves but the electromagnetic spectrum has waves beyond visible light so microwaves can help us in cooking food or communication via mobile phones radio waves can also help us in long distance communications so many different technologies involves waves and therefore wave equation becomes very important now the next equation in our list the seventh most important equation in physics are the navier stokes equations these are partial differential equations that help us understand 
fluid dynamics. Now, when I say fluid, it can be water that is flowing through a tap or the air flowing under the wings of an aeroplane or the vortex that is created in your basin. All of these are connected by the Navier-Stokes equations. So therefore, these equations help us build an understanding of all kinds of fluid motion. So whether it is aerodynamics, creation of vortices, weather predictions, ocean currents, and even technological implications in the construction of aircraft, wings, turbines, etc. requires an understanding of these equations. And next in our list, in the top 10 most important equations is our fifth set of equations which are known as the Maxwell's equations. Aap the Maxwell's equations ke baare mein suna to zarur hoga. These are the equations, in fact four equations that gives us a complete description of electric and magnetic behavior. Our civilization is dependent on electricity and magnetism. Aap jo ye video mera apne phone mein dekh rahe hai, requires electric currents. An understanding of electricity and magnetism is a cornerstone of our civilization. However, ye jo char equations hai, they might look a little complicated, mathematical itself, but they together give us a deep understanding of how charged particles and electric currents behave. Sabse pehle, we have the Gauss's law of electrostatics, which simply gives us a relation between the electric field flowing through a closed surface and the charged and closed within that surface. The second is the Gauss's law of magnetism that gives us an idea about magnetic field lines, how magnetic monopoles do not exist. If there is a north to a magnetic field, there is a south. If there is a south, there is a north. Third is the Faraday's law of induction. It essentially says how changing a magnetic field creates electric field. This is very, very important because this lies at the heart of the creation of electricity. Electricity kahi pe bhi generate hota hai, it essentially comes from this particular fact that when we change a magnetic field in the presence of a closed loop, we can make an electric field pass through that loop, thereby creating electricity that can later on be used for other purposes. Next is the Ampere's circuital law modified by Maxwell, which says how changing electric field can lead to magnetic field. For example, in electromagnets, by running a current, we can create an artificial magnetic field that can be extremely powerful. So therefore, an understanding of Maxwell's equations is very important if we want a complete description of electric charges, electric currents, magnetic fields, and if we are interested in different kinds of electrical devices like transformers, electric generators, solenoids, electrical grids, computers, medical imaging, etc, etc. Now let's move on to the next one. In our list of the top 10 most important equations in physics, at fifth position, we have the second law of thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics has to do with entropy. You see, entropy is a quantity that gives us an idea about the degree of disorder or randomness of a given system. And what the second law of thermodynamics says is that the entropy of an isolated system is either constant or always increases. You see, in our universe, physical events happen in such a manner so as to increase the overall entropy of a given system. Let me give you a couple of examples. A glass can fall on the ground and shatter into thousands of pieces but the reverse phenomena can never happen even if it doesn't violate any other conservation principle. Now why is that? Let's take another example. If we release gas molecules in a container, the gas molecules will expand to occupy the volume of the container, but the reverse process will never happen. If I bring two objects in contact, one that is hot and the other that is cold, heat always flows from the hot to the cold object in one particular direction. One more example, if we have two containers containing separate gas molecules and we bring them in contact, all the gas molecules will mix together over time, but the reverse process doesn't seem likely to happen. Now this is what the law of entropy essentially tells us that the way that systems evolve in this universe always happens in a certain direction in which the overall entropy or randomness of the universe increases with time. So this law of entropy is very very important because not only it lies at the heart of heat transfer, it tells us something fundamental about the nature of our universe and it is not just relevant in thermodynamics, in heating, cooling, etc. but it is also relevant in other domains of physics like cosmology and even in biological and computational systems. Now let's move on to the fourth 
most important equation in physics, which is the most famous equation, I think, out of all of them that many people are familiar with, which is the Einstein's mass energy equivalence principle. This principle simply says that mass and energy are interconvertible. You see, before Einstein, it was thought that energy, which is the ability to do work, and mass, which is essentially meaning matter that occupies space, are two very distinct things. But Einstein was the first to propose when he published his papers in 1905 that mass and energy can be converted from one to another and it can happen according to this particular formula and because c here represents the speed of light which is very very high a very small amount of mass can be converted to very large amounts of energy and we saw a proof of this particular equation in the hiroshima and nagasaki atomic explosions in 1945 now this equation is very important because it lies at the heart of the energy creation in our sun. You see, our sun is providing us energy all the time because of which life is possible on Earth. But this energy comes from thermonuclear reactions happening at the core of the sun. These nuclear reactions are effectively converting a little amount of mass to pure energy, which is then radiated outwards. So the thermonuclear reactions happening at the cores of stars would not be possible in the absence of this particular equation. So this is a very important equation because not only it is the source of the energy of various stars, it also has applications even beyond military applications, for example, in nuclear reactors for creating vast amounts of energy. It has applications in nuclear medicine medicine, medical imaging, etc. Now, since we are already talking about Einstein, let's move on to the third most important equation in physics, which are the equations of general theory of relativity. You see, I already mentioned general theory of relativity a few moments back. This is a theory of relativity which has essentially replaced Newton's law of gravitation. This is a theory that basically gives us an idea about how gravity functions at large distances. You see the equations of general theory of relativity, which is what these equations represent. Essentially, the space-time fabric of our universe is affected by the mass or the energy contained by various objects. And whenever there is mass or energy present, it somehow twists and curves the space-time fabric in such a manner that nearby objects and their trajectories are affected by the curvature of space-time in that particular region. You see, Einstein essentially said that gravity is the consequence of the motion of objects in curved space-time. And this kind of an idea has been able to explain phenomena like gravitational lensing, gravitational time dilation, gravitational redshift, and even the existence of black holes. It is GTR that predicted that objects like black holes can even exist in our universe. Essentially, general theory of relativity is the modern physics version of the explanation of the large-scale universe today. Now, since we are talking about phenomena at large-scale uh, distances, Let's go the opposite. Let's go to the minutest microscopic world. And here we are going to talk about the second most important equation in physics, which is the Schrodinger equation. The Schrodinger equation, which was given by Erwin Schrodinger in 1926, essentially gives us an idea about explaining motion of subatomic and atomic particles. You see, in the microscopic atomic world, the motion of objects are very different from how it is in the macroscopic low velocity world that we see around us. Particles do not behave like particles as we expect them to be. In fact, particles and their motion is best represented by probability waves. And an understanding of this kind of a behavior is very much important if we want to explain all kinds of atomic and molecular behavior that we see. You see, atomic structure, various kinds of atomic phenomena, molecular phenomena can only be explained by this quantum mechanical framework. So understanding the behavior of microscopic particles and especially electrons in atoms and crystal lattices helps us understand, for example, semiconductor devices like transistors, diodes, and therefore paves the path for integrated circuits which lie at the heart of modern electronics, computers, and communications. And therefore, the Schrodinger equation is very important because it explains how the universe behaves at the microscopic level. And since we are talking about the microscopic sizes, let's talk about the top most important equation in physics, which is 
the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Now, please keep in mind that I've mentioned it initially that I've created this list in chronological manner. Therefore, because Heisenberg gave this equation in 1927, I have kept it at the top. Nonetheless, this is one of the cornerstones of quantum mechanics. It simply says that we cannot really measure the position and the velocity of a particle absolutely or with 100% accuracy. You see, because particles in the microscopic world are not really particles, but their motion is given by probability waves, therefore it is very, very difficult to pinpoint the position and velocity of a particle at any given point in time. You see, if I try to measure the position of a particle with absolute accuracy, we would be very much uncertain about its velocity. And if I try to measure the velocity of a particle with absolute accuracy, we would be very uncertain about its position. There is a natural trade-off that exists when we try to measure the position and the velocity of a particle at any given point in time. This leads to a uncertainty in where the particle is at this moment in time and where the particle will be in the future. It reveals to us something deep about how nature functions at the most fundamental level. And it has various consequences throughout quantum mechanics. For example, zero point energy. There cannot be any system that has completely zero energy even at zero temperature. You see, because of this Heisenberg uncertainty principle, any quantum mechanical system will have some amount of energy, no matter how low the temperature is. Even vacuum has a certain kind of quantum vacuum energy because of quantum mechanical fluctuations. And because we're dealing with atoms and molecules, essentially it has implications in all kinds of technology. So that's it. This is my list of the top 10 most important equations in physics. I hope in this video you have got some idea about what these equations are, why they are relevant, and it has given you some clarity as to how the universe functions at different scales. So I'm Divya Jyoti Das. That's all for today. I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.